for oh, Gosu Pepper for flashbacks. Yes, for those historians that have seen that Photoshop, I strongly suggest you look it up. Guys, there's these team comps. We'll be flashing on your screen at L O L Esports. Will Gambit be picking up their second win, or will SK be grabbing their first of the summer split? Hashtag GMB win. Hashtag SK win. Truly, <laughs> truly. <laughs> Thank Great. you for the signs in the audience. Diamond is just going to slide his way away. Always so anticlimactic, right? Well, Goes not always. A tunnel and then a pool. See, not always. Look at this now. Sven Skjern is going to find himself behind Forgiven and Ghost and Pepper. There is a Valkyrie available. Let's see what happens. That's the flash into the pulverize. Headbutts Forgiven backwards. Enrated pushes Forgiven onto the wrong side Ooh. of the map. Candy Panda tries to follow with a flash, but it does not work out. And Sven Skjern. He wants to set his sight on the Earth Rider. He's going to find himself on Gosu Pepper. Prey Seeker comes out. Dazzle is stunned. Follows up with the Summoner Heal. Now Forgiven is putting those missiles down. Enrated and Svenskirin are in trouble. Yeah. Enrated goes down. First blood to Forgiven. Gambit with the outplay. I'm not so sure, Trev. They engage and they put Forgiving in a position where he still has Valkyrie. There is no CC up and they give him an escape path opposite of the side of Svenskirin. Svenskrin's trailing all the way in the backwards and just needs to keep scaling. Gambit, they get the dragon faster than their seasonal average thus far. Not by a whole lot, a little bit over a minute. But neither of these teams have had extremely good dragon control. We'll keep talking about that later as Diamond wants to set up for a dive. Teleport coming up. Oh, main party. John. He does have Onslaught of Shadows and Candy Panda is going to get caught up. He's going to lob in rated forward and Candy Panda is gone. Gosu continues to tank up as Freddy is teleported in for the fight. Now Cabochard's in retreat. We do see Sven Skeren coming to join. Body slams. He knocks Diamond under the tower and the turret shot will close him out. Exhaust is now on to Freddy as SK continues to look forward. Gosu Pepper split from the rest of his team. Cabo not really swinging around those blades of war. Saves the onslaught. It's away at the end of the fight and enraged gets belt but he throws down the unbreakable wall and stays alive Sven Skirin puts the big body back onto Cabo shot and Freddy is now running away but Forgiven will pick up the kill and it ends up trading back and forth it's not over yet as you see Diamond Prox can he find Sven no the prey seeker but I think he spotted him Trevor since means Sven Skirin's in trouble and a tunnel from Diamond should be one extra kill maybe donated to Betsy and I feel like Forgiven betraying his roots here because he usually hates these type of bot lane parties because he even renamed the summoner name to Let Us 2v3, please. <laughs> In addition to, can you please stop ganking my lane over and over again? Right. But as we do talk about that, action in the top lane. Well, we do see Shivana trying to get away with that burnout, but the Dragon's Descent is not enough distance. And Freddy, the Wyvern gets run down by Hecarim. While that was going on, we did see Gosu actually caught up the bottom lane, so... I was gonna run into the jungle, find Freddy out. So Dragon in a minute. You can see Cabo's pushed the wave out. He's got teleport to play with. And they wanna steal this red ball. That's what you wanna do. You wanna deny resources to your opponent. If you can't get the towers, take their jungle. Slowly make them bleed gold. Freddy's getting poked. Well, red buff is still up there. It looks like it was secured by Diamond and the smite. Freddy's gonna Knock Dragon's up. descent, but the knockup comes up from Diamond. He manages to find him, and Betsy gets a kill credit. There's the onslaught of shadows, throws in rated back into the waiting arms of Gosu Pepper. But Candy says, Come and hug me. Pulls him out with Fate's Call. And SK turn around. It doesn't look like we're done just yet. SK are one man down, but here comes Diamond once again. He flashes in and he takes down the Minotaur. We see the Hemo Plague. Sucking out the blood from Diamond Prox as Gambit now back away. Initially, Gambit get the kill, but they trade one for one in the follow-up fights. Again, miscommunication by SK. Freddy's trying to defend that red buff without smite of his own. He has to yield eventually. Dies to the double knockup threat from Rex Lu. Svenskun here for a bit too deep. Has to flash. And as well, Enraded and Candy Panda still not in sync. Unbreakable Will and Fate's Call used. Double disengage tools, you have to spread them out. You can't use them at the same time. Decided against it. Well, I'll take that back. They have pushed down. Look at the top lane. Minion's doing work. Gambit's champion's doing work in the middle lane. And Dragon still unsecured, so they could peel back for that one. Fantastic map-wide play by Gambit right here. Pepper with the dazzle. An explosive cast knocks Gosu Pepper into the waiting hands of Fox. We see Sven Skeren. He's going to be running a muck as he's found Diamond Prox. All of a sudden, Gambit, they are the ones that get a little split up. So they've lost two champions for securing two towers and potentially the dragon. 
Gambit had a lot of options there, and they, they seem to want to take them all at once. Part of the team went top lane. Pepper split him down to the bottom. He got caught by Fox. There wasn't enough backup. Top tower was already falling in. At two dragons on the mark. Having those minion waves pushing into mid lane and top lane, I felt like Gambit should have moved for the middle lane and peel back together as a team for the dragon. He failed to do so. Give his case some breathing room, but the gold lead still five and a half K. Is this actually happening? There's no vision oh, it is. here from SK. Look at the vision. You can see in red, it's moving to ward it up. Rek'Sai Scream usually prompts that Baron start. Ward goes down. SK are now aware of it, but Gambit, they've, they've not peeled off this crap, but it's going very, very slowly. Look at the minimap, guys. Tower secured in favor of SK. Freddy has been caught out. He's been knocked up, and Cabochon is rampaging all over Freddy's face. Forgiven's Valks over the wall, and flashed rather. In rate, it's going to get eventually cut down where he stands once Unbreakable wears off. Baron was prevented, but Gambit get a few more kills onto their belt. Yeah, and Gambit. I screw up that word yet again <laughs> as you gaze upon me. Ever. Stop looking at me like that. I, was I doing, can't help it. I was trying to do it subtly. I was trying to do it subtly. Take a look at your picture in picture. Bottom left, Cabo Shot is teleporting in. He's in the tri bush up north. Freddy has equaled that by coming in. Diamond Prox has found the knock up onto Freddy. Candy Panda a little bit split up from the team as SKR landed in the river. The ship is sinking and we see Fate's call. It's going to pull and rated backwards. He's got no unbreakable will. We do see Fox and Hemoplague has popped, but Freddy is continuing to take damage. He may be going down, not yet though, as the face of the mountain shield will keep him up. Diamond and Forgiven looking to run. SK down. Sven Skira now follows suit with Enrated into the death chamber. And after a drawn out bout, Gambit find two and go back to Baron. So much chaos in these fights, but Gambit is simply too tanky. None of their members fall down and eventually SK will have to yield. Unbreakable Will wasn't up in that fight, so Enraided had to sacrifice himself for his team. Sven is down, no more smite. Should be a Baron pickup and this should snowball again. This should facilitate those things that Gambit was trying earlier. Now it'll be a lot easier because you have Really not having an impact. Fox! Dazzle forces the pool. He's gonna go down with that's the That's the tower. Pool. This is the opening Gambit once. So let's see if Gambit can get out cleanly. Doesn't seem to be an engage yet from SK. Sanguine pool three seconds before it's available. Diamond and Forgiven putting some auto attacks onto the inhibitor. It's going low. It will take a few more hits. Svenskeren's gone in with a body slam, but doesn't manage to throw down the cask. On sort of Shadows comes out and Sven's down before he can even ultimate. Inhibitor will drop. And SK with really disconnected defense lose their base inhibitor yeah very often you see a team make a panic play here to defend that inhibitor a hail mary if i may but sk a couple of their members wanted to go in and the rest wasn't really in sync as you say a blue buff on the bottom so they have to hold their horses here and wait for the cavalry to arrive just don't don't use too much of your ammunition on that top tower just wait for cabochar to get to the bot lane Effectively split pushing. You can wait 30 more seconds. You waited 34 minutes, Gambit. You can wait a little longer. Get Betsy Zooks it, but Forgiven goes in. Well, wow, there's the wild growth already onto Forgiven. Sven Skeren dashes forward with Dragon's Descent and a Valkyrie away. We'll put that cosplay equalizer down on the ground. Now Ghostu Pepper's running, but look at Cabo Shot. He's gonna grab another inhibitor, and if it's at the cost of Ghostu Pepper's life, that is a fair trade any day of the week. Super minions will now be pouring through the bottom lane. As SK is engaged, nets them a kill. Now Cabo shot a little bit in trouble. Gosu Pepper, the hero Gambit needed and deserved. He trades his life willingly for a bot lane inhib here and a forgiven. He wants some blood. It kills his ex teammate. Wants another one. Fox flashed forward for that one as Cabo shot cleans up and rated. Still a little while before that inhib sports, but now with two members down, Gambit on the top lane. One inhib, two inhibs. Gambit, they want their third. They should be able to grab this one. SK not doing a whole lot. Onslaught of Shadows goes, I think, a little wide of Candy Panda, but Cabo Shot is just <laughs> rampaging through. He 1v1s Candy Panda like a hot knife through butter. Freddy tries to fly away, but those wings don't have anything under them. And Freddy goes down for the fifth time. The third inhibitor falls. Gambit set their sights on the Nexus turret, and they want to go 2 and 0 oh in week 3. 8, 1, and 5 for Cabo Shard. Man, that started it all off. Gambit undefeated. SK 0 and 6.